What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and I am just very, very excited to report this because it's suggesting that a battle royale is going to be coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, this was posted over on Reddit by Senesalo or Senekalo, however you say his name. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a well-known data miner on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reddit. He's leaked a bunch of maps, game modes, um, almost everything too, even before the game uh, was released too. He, he was digging around in the files during the beta, so... Um, um, this guy is definitely a well-known data miner in the Call of Duty community. But like I said, he's found a bunch of Battle Royale content including maps, map images, perks, armor types, loot variety, and so, so much more. Now guys, the gaming revolution has leaked out a battle royale coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare months ago, but there wasn't actually any solid proof, I guess. I mean, he he is a pretty uh, trusted source at this point, I believe, because he's leaked a lot of stuff, and, and it was correct. Um, but this guy, Santa Kalo, actually has solid proof of a battle royale coming, because this is actual content that's inside of Modern Warfare in the PC file. So, I'm going to have a link to the Reddit post down below in the description for you guys. I'm not sure if it's going to get taken down because this is pretty dang huge and I would assume that Infinity Ward and Activision does not want this stuff to get um, leaked out because it's like a, going to be a hidden mode or a mode that's going to be coming probably in 2020. I'd say maybe by January or February is when this mode is going to be launching um, but it does definitely seem like it's on the way and ready to be released because there's so much content that's already developed um, and the rumors state that Raven Software is going to be leading the development of this mode mode while Infinity Ward has focused on the main game like the multiplayer the campaign and the spec ops so like I said Raven Software is going to be leading this game and they're probably going to be the ones that are going to be in charge of patch updates and all that kind of fun stuff there so um, again the link's going to be down below in the description for you guys now as for the different maps or zones on the large battle royale map we have airfield boneyard dam downtown gulag hospital layover lumber overgrown Port, Quarry, Storage, Town, Super Center, Train Yard, and then TV Station. And then the points of interest are Bank, Fire Station, Gas Station, Gun Store, Pharmacy, and Police Station. So uh, some of the zones are basically going to be your old school Call of Duty maps that were stitched together and intertwined into the larger Battle Royale map. Um, but the points of interest, I feel like they're going to be special locations that can help you out when it comes to winning the game. For example, like the Fire Station, um, maybe you can get like... I don't know some type of uh, weapon maybe in there or the gas station maybe you could fill up your vehicle um, the gun store maybe you can get some ammo or uh, weapons in there the pharmacy you can get some heals that's what I feel the points of interest are gonna be they're just gonna have certain items that can help you out in the game and then the zones are just gonna be the old-school maps that were mixed together to make the larger battle royale map um, some of these maps may not be coming after all they probably are gonna be looking at um, removing some or adding some new ones in or making it it even bigger so um, I wouldn't say that this is gonna be all the maps for sure like set in stone because there is still some time before this game mode actually comes out so take that into consideration there and then below that we actually have part of the image of the battle royale map I'm not gonna post that in this video because it was data mine content and uh, I don't want to get this video strike down so um, the links gonna be down below in the description guys and we also have another image of what the map looks like um, just to kind of describe it to you guys it's like an in-game image we can see like little hills um, there's some grassland and then a couple of buildings there so um, again, the link's going to be down below in the description for you guys. And then for the default options, this is going to be how every public match is going to be played. So there's solos, duos, and then squads, which is uh, a total of one player and then two players and then four players on a team. And then the player count is going to be set at 200, which is double the amount Blackout Battle Royale had. Um, end game radar is going to be on. Not sure what that means. I guess maybe on like a mini map, you can see the enemy player's positions possibly. I don't know. And then following that there's a couple of health options in the game so um, that's for the settings for the public match and then for the respawn they said respawn tokens can be looted after one use respawn tokens are disabled for the player to respawn a teammate obtain a respawn token then drop their body near an ambulance once the body is dropped at the ambulance the player will enter the gulag for a chance to win a 1v1 and respawn into the match so that's something that I've wanted for blackout battle royale for a really long time now but Treyarch never added 
added a respawn feature, but Infinity Wards and Raven Software's Battle Royale is going to have a, a respawning mode there. But it does say at some point during the match, the Gulag is going to be closed and no longer usable, thus preventing respawn. So once a player has respawned, they must locate and activate a mobile armory to retrieve their loadouts. Very, very cool stuff here for that respawn feature. That makes me really, really happy. And then next up, we have missions. And they say Battle Royale features missions, which can be looted via finding tablets. Only one mission can be activated for a squad at a time. And then they go on to list the mission types. A couple of them have descriptions, and then two of them don't. But they do say if no bounty is available for the assassination mission, Constellation Plunder will be awarded. When a mission is started or completed, the entire squad will be notified by an on-screen message. So... I guess after completing these missions, you're going to earn some type of a reward, maybe like a weapon or plunder, which we're going to be getting to in a second here. And I guess that's what the uh, goal is for completing these missions. And then uh, miscellaneous stuff here, they say Fulton recovery device plays, Fulton balloon successfully away, Fulton a balloon shot down. Players have the ability to mark vehicles, locations, items, enemies, and dangerous locations. So something kind of similar to what Apex has and now Fortnite. And then Battle Royale will have its own slice on the main menu very very cool stuff there and then the jump master of a squad can select a deployment point prior to the match start if the jump master chooses to discard the role any player can become it players who are not the jump master have the ability to jump separately from the team if you detach from the jump master you will not drop in proximity to your loadout bag loot and then the loot says that the rarities are white green blue purple and gold so there's a total of five different rarities and then there is going to be limited inventory space and then the requisition airdrop timer is 30 seconds all weapons attachments equipment field upgrades and kill streaks from multiplayer are going to be in the game there's gas mask vest helmets bandages ammo there's also backpacks which i assume is going to let you carry more stuff portable defibrillators and plunder which we're going to get to in a second here um, and you also cannot hold two of the same weapons you cannot take armor of lower level than currently equipped attachments which are incompatible Compatible with the current weapon will be placed in the backpack. Supply crates contain potentially valuable equipment or items. And then for the armor types, there's actual images of what they look like too in the game and the different varieties of armor. Basically, there's helmet level one and then ballistic vest level one, and they go all the way up to level three for each of them. And they all do a different type of effect. Very, very cool stuff there. And then for the perks, there's a bunch of them. I'm gonna have the link to the Reddit post again down below in the description in case you guys want to go check that out. Um, there's a lot of perks, like I said, and they all do different stuff. I assume it's going to be similar to Blackout Battle Royale and their perks where you have to find them, pick them up, and actually activate them, and they only last for a limited amount of time. And then for kill streaks, they say kill streaks activated using lethal and tactical buttons, and if you are a juggernaut, then you cannot pick up loot, and then UAV satellite trucks must be charged before scanning an area. Once used, they will remain on cooldown for some time before coming back online. Um, they don't really say a ton total number of killstreaks or what killstreaks are actually in the game I guess besides the UAV satellite truck and then the juggernaut but if there's more I'm not entirely sure miscellaneous stuff mobile armory retrieve loadouts can only be used once per activation so that's what the mobile armory does and then the armory kiosk not sure what that does there but we're gonna be moving on to plunder and this is what I've been talking about the entire video now this was leaked out by the gaming revolution um, months ago and basically you can earn plunder by completing missions and eliminating enemies purchase game changing items at plunder box locations um, collect plunder and convert it into xp by depositing it into atm machines located throughout the game and the player who collects the most plunder in the match will be named the best plunderer and there's a minimum amount of plunder required before depositing it into the bank plunder dropped off from eliminating enemies expires after some time and when players enter a bank the bank alarm will sound alerting all enemies within the vicinity and then there's also three images of the different types of plunder in the game i love this feature a lot it definitely does encourage more rushing and active play for sure and it's just another little feature along with missions to kind of get you interactive in the game and just to do more stuff instead of just killing other players i love this plunder feature so dang much and then finally for the gulag it's a prison camp a one-on-one -on -one single round match when to respawn when enabled players will have a chance to respawn back into the 
match by winning a 1v1 fight. The Gulag acts as a King of the Hill style gauntlet, meaning players in the Gulag queue will spectate the player who are currently fighting in the Gulag. There will be a countdown on the screen indicating how many rounds are left until you fight. A jailbreak happens every so often and kicks all players out of the Gulag and back into the match. Players have the ability to place bets on the players who are winning the fight using plunder. So guys, like I said, this battle royale just sounds absolutely amazing. It's not just, you know, fight until you're the last player alive. You have this plunder feature, this mission feature that just has you do more stuff in the game instead of just killing people. It sounds so, so cool. And by the looks of it, it seems like this battle royale mode is almost completed and they're just going to be taken away or maybe adding some stuff here and there. Just finishing up on the final touches before this is released. And I do believe it's going to be coming sometime early in 2020. Not sure about the exact date, of course, because this is an actual announced stuff in the game, but it should be coming out very, very soon here. Now, personally, I would have loved to have been surprised by this Battle Royale mode because I think that's what the devs were going for. Like, hey, there's still this other mode that was not publicized when we were launching the game. Here it is. But I mean, I guess it is what it is. I still am very excited for it. However, I'm not sure if it's going to be free to play. I would assume that it should be because there's a lot of features in this game that's pulled from like H1Z1, Apex, and some stuff from Fortnite too. So I would assume if they want to compete with these other popular Battle Royale modes, then they just got to make it free to play. They just have to. Um, I think it's definitely a great addition. Modern Warfare is a decent game in my opinion, but I'm just not really moved and blown away by that game, by the multiplayer at least. Um, the core features though and the core aspects that define the game, I'm blown away by that, like the uh, free maps, uh, weapons, that kind of stuff, no loot boxes. But as for the multiplayer, I'm just really not motivated to play and really grind on that. Of course, if my friends are on, then I'm going to be playing. But if nobody's on, then I just don't feel the purpose or the need to play because I just don't have fun playing solo. Now for the battle royale, I definitely would love to play that solo and even with friends because like after a multiplayer game, I can go and cool off and play that battle royale mode or do it vice versa, you know? So I, I'm very blown away with Modern Warfare so far as in terms of the core features um, and all the different variety of content we have. Um, and they're still surprising us after the game has been launched. I am just literally so, so happy with this decision by Activision and Infinity Ward. I was kind of on the fence here, like maybe 50-50. Like, I mean, there could be a Battle Royale mode coming to Modern Warfare, but there also is a very good chance that there couldn't be. Um, I always said for months now too, I would believe it when I see it. And this is it, guys. This is the actual proof right here. This is in the files of the game. And they're just waiting for that right time to release this stuff and announce it. I expect an announcement coming sometime in December though, maybe towards the middle of December. I'm not sure about this month, but it's definitely right around the corner, guys. Please let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.